rotate once again should be uh, hold the shift key okay now I use the arrow key to, to move it move it left okay another step will be will be expanding this this element because uh, I show you something when you click on this object and uh, try to to change uh, to change the color of of this element you can do this because it's it's not uh, it's not a vector object so uh, I show you how to how to convert to to a vector object so click here select sorry select this select this object sorry select both objects and from object uh, menu select expand and uh, expand object feel uh, it's okay okay now now our ob objects are expanded so now we can change change the color i show you now okay so let's let's group let's group this this those elements control G oh sorry shift control G now our now our florid elements are are grouped so uh, let's change the color for for blue okay and duplicate control c control b and hold this hold this uh, sorry sorry let's rotate uh, sorry oh now let's rotate this uh, this elements Holy control c control v Sorry guys. Okay, it's fine. Okay, we we need to move move it down. Object arrange send to back. Okay, now this uh, Now now we need to to align all of this this stuff so select select uh, all all of them and choose horizontal align center from uh, align option it may be ah sorry control z okay i think it's it looks pretty good so maybe let's let's uh, add some some another some another elements mm, maybe this one okay if let's expand Okay, and uh, let's change the, the color. 
So uh, select eyedropper, eyedropper tool. Ah, I show you something. Very useful tip. If you if you want to, if you don't know what color was used here. Uh, and you wanna you wanna change another element? Uh, you can we you can use a eyedropper eyedropper tool. So select this this element and choose eyedropper and click on uh, click on col color. You see, we've got. We've got the same color what uh, previous object. Control C, Control B, and rotate. Sorry, sorry. Reflect to. Okay, perfect. Move it to the uh, left side, and we must uh, we must select uh, uh, our new elements and uh, and align it. This time we 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 use a vertical vertical align uh, bottom option. Okay and. Uh, we we now grouping this this sorry those objects sorry sorry Oh, sorry, sorry, guys. I've got some problems. I, I need to repeat this operation. Vertical line bottom. Okay, and... Uh, obj uh, object... I, I, I choose a group option. Okay. What now? Now we need to we need to uh, du duplicate duplicate our group. So click Control C and Control B and uh, hold this hold this uh, selection and rotate rotate with uh, with shift mm -hmm. I think it's very good next step will be a will be aligning this 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 element to another oh it's cool uh, oh we need to add another another element because this this part of of our graphics uh, seems to be very it's it's empty you know and it doesn't look good so i from from uh, shape tool i i choose i choose a star star shape okay So maybe I, I put it here. It's perfect. So maybe let's change a color for 